Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, actually, no, it's afternoon. <laughs> Apologies, it's afternoon. Alright, so I'm going to make this very, very quick and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to find some serious deep meaning within it. Now, um, I'm sure you all remember the um, Ice Age, uh, the age of the dinosaurs and how they all went ex extinct and stuff like that. Well, we're now living in the digital age and um, yeah, something or, or, or a race or a, a set of living beings are going to go extinct. Um, but I think the to be more precise, rather than saying that human beings would go extinct because that's like, I, I mean, that's like a movie idea, you know, as an ideology um, and the likes of Matrix and stuff like that. Uh, what will happen is um, jobs going extinct, the future of works. And um, that's something I really want to kind of um, uh, kind of drill home and just let you guys understand this. Now, uh, the, the where very much at the foundational age of what we call artificial intelligence the digital age is uh, is 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 an era of adoption and the foundation of all of this is artificial intelligence and um um how does this affect you because you're going to be sitting there thinking what's this guy talking about how does this affect me well it's very plain and very simple and i'll, I'll make it as quick as possible um the reasons why the dinosaurs went extinct, uh, I mean, further enough, there was a crazy, um, um, I can't remember what it was, it was, um, gosh, I read up on this, uh, basically, there was the, uh, there was the ice age, and, and I think there was meteorite that hit the earth, and then obviously, whole fire and everything, but there's some dinosaurs still survived, however, they could not evolve, and as a result of not being able to evolve, uh, they died off. The uh, only species that survived were smaller species, um, like us, like birds and stuff like that. And, um, and, and that was because we were able to evolve and adapt. Now, let's now talk about, um, that's, that's if you want to get scientific uh, about it. If you want to get religious, then you probably just say that God destroyed them to make room for us. I don't know, whatever, however you want to put it. But let's now look at the reality of life because uh, there's another... Uh, there's another uh, form of extinction coming in, and that is our jobs. Um, automation is literally taking over. Um, Amazon's um, warehouse is fully automated. Uh, China is trying to fully automate, automate all of their industries and farms and stuff like that. How are you going to compete? Say, for example, a country like Zimbabwe that uh, produces X amount of uh, 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 food produce. How will they com compete with a, with a country that automates, that has, a, fa that has a, uh, a manufacturing plant on a farm that's fully automated and we're still relying on human beings? They'll be able to produce it much cheaper. Uh, and at a much faster rate and a better quality, you know, and it will probably most likely still be organic. So um, how would you compete with that? So just like um, the just like disruption is destroying companies, is like literally destroying companies like Toys R Us, uh, Blockbuster, Carf um, Motorola, and many other companies that have literally gone bankrupt because other companies came and disrupted them the uber uh, uber literally disrupted the taxi business uh when you are 50 or 60 and you retire now you can't go and drive black cabs why because basically the business is not there you're gonna have to probably drive an uber uh airbnb totally disrupted the uh, uh hotel industry uh netflix is now disrupting cinemas because people are going less to cinemas and uh people are, are um, um film production companies have to do the wows that's why marvel's doing so well because obviously they, they you still need that big screen to enjoy it but the more technology is evolving you can get a big screen in your own house and you can have 3d and all that beautiful stuff in your own house and it's absolutely crazy so you've got to think about all these things because it's reality now um enough of the um faffing around let me just come straight to the point this is where it's very very important for you and um and um i got my glasses on like matrix the movie matrix sorry i just had to put that in there like a little meme all right let, let's let's carry on so um I'm going to I'm actually going to get biblical and then kind of related to technology so that maybe you would get it because a uh, majority of my target audience uh, are, 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 are um, spiritual people. So hopefully you'll be able to connect with this. Now, let's think about it this way. You've heard you've, you've most likely heard above all seek knowledge, understanding and wisdom is far more valuable than silver and gold. And I want you to kind of take note of that now. 
this is where it's really, really, really scary. Because if knowledge, understanding and wisdom is far more valuable than silver and gold, if we can create an entity that has knowledge, understanding and wisdom, then it will be far more valuable than silver and gold. And it will be what companies will be focusing and looking for because it will create more silver and gold. Okay, now you're thinking, what the heck is this guy talking about? Well, let me explain it in a very, very simple way. The very foundation of artificial intelligence, which is the age that we live in now, the foundation of artificial intelligence. You've seen uh, Google launching its own uh, um, voice, uh, voice AI, whereby it can have a proper conversation with people. You're thinking, how the heck did it get to that? Uh, you have a new company that has actually even gone further, whereby you can actually record your voice and it could, and, and, that, and that AI uh, or virtual assistant, whatever it is, can have a conversation in your voice. Uh, the other day, me um, we were having issues on the internet. Someone in Nigeria couldn't connect. I went on Facebook and literally saw an ad on um, faster internet in Nigeria. I'm thinking, how the heck does Facebook know? Went to my settings, look at my microphone. My microphone was on. They're listening to my conversations. It is absolutely crazy. So when Facebook said, you know what? We want the world to be open. We want the world to be more open, a more open, connected world. Basically, what he's trying to say is, you know what? I want to have access to everything that you do. I want to hear you. I want to see you. So I'm always switching off my cameras. I'm switching off my um uh, my microphone is like you almost can't use these apps without switching without switching those things on so it's like i have to be consciously switch them off and then you even see mark zuckerberg he, he himself on his computer he has a, like a little uh cello tape on his microphone and on on on, on his on, on his um camera so he knows what the heck is going on all right but i've diverse let's come back to what i was saying so we're talking about knowledge understanding and wisdom so what is the foundation well let me explain this foundation for uh, uh, in regards to artificial intelligence to you foundation is data and that's why right now every company is they say data is the new oil data is the new oil why because you can use data to make an informed decision you can use data you can you can uh, you can you can curate data and that's what's happening you know when i am when 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 i go on facebook and i see an ad related to what i've just talked about that's data they're collecting data on me you know and they're now collecting this data not only in in relation to text but in relation to voice you know and most likely in video as well and that's a lot of data now electronic tele technology is um sorry digital technology is really uh electronic data you know so electronic data technology so the ability to be able to take the real world uh, uh virtualize it and replicate the real world in a digital form that's basically what's happening right now so uh, that's why you're having things like augmented reality and uh, and uh, virtual reality and stuff like that now so think about that data as knowledge, okay? So they're collecting the data now, collecting the data. And that is why anybody with data analytic skills, they are, or data science skills, right now their future is secured. You know, for the next three, four, five years, they're just going to be killing the money. This is why I tell everybody, get into data, build your data analytic skills. And this is why regulations have come into place. Because the, way the, the amount of data companies have on you, the amount of data um, um, government has on you, it's just too much. Where is your privacy? And that's why the new GDPR law is coming out. So anyone that has GDPR expertise, they're going to make the, kill the money. They're going to keep making that money like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so that's where knowledge, the um, knowledge in terms of data. But then what then happens with that data? Well, as a result of cloud technology, the ability for us to store terabytes of data and process terabytes of data and analyze terabytes of data and the tools to visualize those data, what's now happening is we're now moving to what well, so we're, we're not we're not moving to we're already in the understanding um uh, uh, stage and what is the understanding stage that is machine learning deep learning the ability for google to be able to build algorithms that can not only look at what you are doing but understand what you're doing start to learn and that's why when you go on google and you type in uh, a poodle you will get a poodle but if you type in a white poodle you will only get white poodles if you type in black poodle you will only get black poodle why well it's very very simple they have built the algorithm to be able to read images you know to be able to so basically google eyes google eyes yeah they can now see the image rather because when you upload when i'm uploading an image to the internet i may not title it and it's, a, it's me and my dog i may not title it um poodle i may title it um um uh, me and my dog name as in type the name maybe my, me and tom 
you know, because when you think about it, a lot of people, their dog is like their family. So how does Google now know that that is a poodle? Well, it can receive the image. It can tell the difference in the image. So it's learning. So the machine learning, deep learning. And that's the same thing with our conversations, chat box. Chat box are becoming a lot more intelligent. Why? Because they're able to have actual conversations with you, which Google just recently launched. Now, that is on the, that's what we've dealt with data. We've dealt with understanding. We're now moving to wisdom. Wisdom is where artificial intelligence comes into play. Knowing what to do when other people don't know what to do now having an artificial intelligence that has gained that has the data uh, about everything and any, 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 any anything and everything has the um, understanding and has learned over time people's behavior and is now wise enough to have a proper conversation with you and solve your problem so that way you're not creating some level of consciousness that can replace a lot of jobs you can replicate jobs you can automate jobs and then all of a sudden robots are taking over over our jobs people think that they have to wait to see robots walking around the street before they are in trouble no not at all chat box will take your job autonomous vehicles will take your job you know so it's just absolutely crazy and the thing about it is that it we, 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 some people think that oh this is 20 years away. this is like five years away or even two years away i mean they said that by 2020 about no 2034 47 percent of jobs will be automated can you believe that you know so it's almost as if any company that is not digitizing automating and moving to moving beyond the digital transformation age and moving towards the digital optimization and digital business continuity age they're dead now I'm, i keep telling people this you gotta go, go to the when you go to work on monday Go and look at the strategy of your company. If your company is not preparing for the future, if they're not preparing for the digital age or not prepared for the digital age, start preparing to leave that company. Because what's going to happen? They're going to go bankrupt. And when they go bankrupt, you're going to be hit with a, oh, we're making everybody redundant. We can't afford to pay you. And then also, here's the part, bad part. If you're not actually um, um, involved in developing the future, then you're actually killing yourself. So some companies are paying you to destroy your future because I'm, I'm hot. I'm gonna have to put the AC on. So some companies are killing you to destroy your future by getting you to just do the same thing over and over again without actually learning and evolving. I have a friend of mine who was um at um uh, PW. We were talking yesterday. So it was at PwC. He said I was at like, uh, a year at PwC. Uh, I learned so much. Amazing, you know. No, sorry, sorry. I mean, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry guys, I'm not too sure if you can hear me. Let me just switch this off. Okay, so uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Because I just switched the, um, what do you call it, the, the music came on. Actually, hold up a second. I know what to do. One minute. So hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me now. I'm hoping you can hear me. All right. So it was actually okay, good. So it was actually he said he said like he spent a year in the company. It was a may it was sorry, he said he spent a year in the company, the money was good, he was making good money. But the problem was that when he left the company to the next contract, he realized that the company was so far behind that he had to start learning things all over again. While um the new company he's in at taking advantage of AWS, Amazon Web Services and Cloud Technology, you know, and uh, Edge Edge uh, Cloud Edge. Uh, this company was still dealing with servers and stuff like that. So he'll be in meetings and people will be talking to him and he'll be like, what the heck are you talking about? And he just realized that, oh boy, it is not even about the money anymore. Uh, money is not, no, time. Time is your most valuable commodity. And you got to make sure that the time you are spending in a company is preparing you for tomorrow. Not that you are spending time in a company and the time you're spending in that company is literally taking away from your future. So I kind of hope you understand where I'm coming from now in terms of the, understand, the, uh, the, the digital age we're living in where it is very much, it's almost, it's really funny how the, the biblical term of, um, the biblical message of knowledge, understand, and understanding, wisdom, far more valuable than silver and gold is what companies are actually focusing on. That is what artificial intelligence is. So you know what? When they say seek knowledge, understanding and wisdom in this age, it means go and build your digital your digital expertise go and build your data analytics expertise go and build your ability to visualize data go and understand machine learning and um um and machine learning deep learning go and understand artificial intelligence go and understand cloud technology because that is the knowledge wisdom uh, understanding and wisdom that is far more valuable than silver and gold that will create you more silver and gold and i am hoping to the love of god that you are listening to me because it's very simple we've been here well, i've been i've only been in this industry now going almost i think almost almost 20 years now and each time i we have evolved as a company and each time 
every time we share success stories, you guys know us for that. We we say success story, success story, success story. We've been in it now for, for for quite a while. And one thing that has helped us is our ability to evolve. That is what has helped us. Our ability to actually evolve. And you need to evolve. The last thing you want, and I would not, uh, the last thing you want is for you to be telling somebody that, oh, I remember when so so and so said it to, I wish I had done it. I mean, that's just daft. That's just sad. Do you get my point? Rather than you to be saying, man, I thank God I listened to that dude. I thank God. Look at the car I'm driving. I'm driving a nice Range Rover. I just bought two, three houses. My life is good. I'm prepared for the future. Thank God that I listened. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm not going to say anything anymore. And I hope that this has really inspired you and you're going to build your career and focus on building your digital expertise. And more importantly, more importantly, time is the only commodity that is more valuable than any other commodity in the world. Because that time will enable you to get all other commodities. Don't waste it. Do what you have to do so you will do what you want to do tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.